fuck previously. I'm not doing that anymore. Oh my. Okay. Where was I going again? Right. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Oh. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Hmm... I have enough Paragon. Oh, wait. Just a bit longer. I up the quality again, so if it starts lagging, I'll have to turn it back down. It sucks. Come on. Yo, Anderson. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Oops. Matriarch Benezia. Oh, that's why. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? <coughs> if they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. Think that that stop is it? not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! <laughs> A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus yes, systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Oh. 
Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull... Ambassador. <gasps> there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Quit you don't have back. to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. I <laughs> just look at him like... Commander Shepard, step forward. <laughs> there he is. Ah, oh, shit, I'm sorry. I, I told myself I'd stop that. Salarian! There. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Aye, Anderson, aye, sir. come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Let's see. It's still in the 50s. It should be good. <laughs> Bastard FPS. didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Yeah, right so let's go. Shepherd. What's up, man? I'm hey. on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. If your brother is still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. I'm gonna make a, another playlist for like various side missions, so don't worry about that. Side missions in the planets, cause you know. They both go hand in hand. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, good enough. Oh. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. There we go. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Yep. 
Well, this elevator takes a long time. Then again, it is a tower. I think it's slowing down. to next I've told you before you're not allowed in here this one believes it has the right to be free in this area I'll do with that when I have better paragon is the one that's on my map right now. Hopefully this isn't lagging that much. It's not for me, but you never know if I put it on the video. I want to see Karis' sister. So how about it, Garrus? Is this better than c -Sec? I love it when they talk. Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats c -Sec. <laughs> There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. This way. That's embarrassing. Alright, let's go. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's no. quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, Ferris. and there have been sightings around Noveria. Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Right. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. 
I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting We're to a get to. Inspector. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you Don't might have. Shit. I'm good. Bye, Anderson. Yes, Commander? Um, I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Will do. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Uh, a little bit of lag there. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Our enemy knows we're coming. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Yeah! Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what should I do first? What should I do? <laughs> what? Why? What just happened? tried to do Novari, it didn't work out very well. I'm gonna try to do something else, like Pharaohs. Maybe. I don't know if I have enough power for that even. The yeah, Eyesticks I doesn't seem to need a Paragon. Let's do that. Uh, Athens. I'm gonna flip my shit. Ah! Found it! <laughs> 